I understand today we have a common question that needs answering, and I am here to show you the answers. Hopefully. This video is in no way to show off my new shiny goblet, alright? Not, not at all, alright? So, disclaimer, my right in C3, but I feel like there's a good chance that it sort of counterbalances. Because while, yes, she gets her resolve stacks faster, so that means she gets more attack. Well, that's the wrong constellation. She gets their resolve stacks faster, so cool, you get more attack, so the attack becomes less valuable. However, you get a giant, like, 130% buff on this, so I kind of want to just say, you know, attack percent still should be sort of counterbalanced with this. So we're just going to start off, you know, normal, you know, with the thing. And we're using a massive attack team, so I might want to change. But there is uh, 478,000, and that is with attack percent, by the way. Okay, that is not with attack percent. I missed up. Okay, 478,000, and now we have the attack goblet. So, let's see. So here we are now back with our attack percent goblet. So I am very curious because I did some testing earlier and I did not see those numbers. I, I saw a higher number than that, but maybe I am mistaken. And for our final hit, uh, it didn't crit. All right, we're not gonna hit 160,000 this time, all right? We're, we're not, we're not. We're gonna hit for some number that I am forgetting. Cause one of these did higher damage. And I thought it was a certain one, but I might be wrong. And... Well, we could just end the video here and say that the attack percent goblet, uh, even though it has higher crit rate, it has failed me twice in a row. Okay, I have realized that there might have been an error in what I was doing. I think when I first tested these out, I had resolve stacks previously on my Raiden, which may have buffed the numbers. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the Electro one after this, and we're going to have, you know, a retest of what its damage is after resetting the resolve stacks. I thought this team reached max resolve stacks. 466. So while we're waiting for the boss to respawn, hey, I have memberships and also a subscribe button. You should do one of those. Hey, you know, it, it would be fun, right? It's fun. Just like waiting for a boss. No, actually, this is legitimately fun. And I provide you with content daily. Please, please subscribe. Okay, now we're back with electro damage. Let's go. No time. Come on, buddy. It, it's time to die. Listen, I, I will stand by what I said last video. If you didn't check out last video, go do it. All right. What are you doing with your life? You watch all my videos. Otherwise, you're just you're nothing. Just look at that beautifulness. Beautiful. Yeah. So we were reaching max resolve stacks. I thought that electro damage bonus was hitting higher than 478,000. I thought attack percent was 478,000. So, yeah. Cool. Hey. Would you look at that electro damage bonus? It's amazing. So at the beginning, I was talking about how it cancels out. Probably, I don't know how much this really matters. Like, how much attack percent am I really getting out of this, right? So from like me having C one, I get like twenty extra resolve stacks on this team, and that's not including if this thing happens, which does at least happen once. So it's more like eighteen resolve stacks. So I don't think that we're getting that much attack from the resolve stacks. Now comes in the part where we get an extra 130% attack, where the attack matters more. So, so the extra 46% attack that this thing is giving, that matters more. So I don't really want to do this, but I think we're going to have to use Raiden National just to make sure. Because the thing is, we are getting Bennett's buff and also Kujasara's buff for attack. So I'm not entirely like, wow. That attack percent is really the lower one, even though it's like 12k difference on the biggest hit, which is scaling better with attack than anything, I'm pretty sure. We're just going to check. We're just going to see what the damage numbers look like. And uh, yeah. Okay, so we're back here. We're going to try and see Raiden's burst. I mean, I imagine I know what it's going to do, but we'll see. I forget which one we're on. I think we're on Electro Percent. So, yeah. I press three. Doesn't really matter what damage these characters are doing. Really only matters what Raiden is doing. 218,000. Oh, no! I killed it. Why did I kill it? 
Uh, I could have just let it live. I could have tortured it. Okay, so we have returned with the attack percent Raiden. I imagine that this one's going to actually do more damage. Okay, Shingling, please. Thank you. Uh, I imagine that this one's going to do more damage. It's just... I, it, there's no hiding it. Like, I mean, there's a good chance that it, I think it'll be like 20k higher, honestly. Let's see. Teleport, teleport, please teleport. Okay, we are not trying to kill this guy before I'm able to recover energy. I am not waiting another, like, two minutes. Why does it take two minutes for a boss to respawn? Okay, you mechanical idiot. We're going to do this once again. Raiden's going to crit on you and you're going to die. Well, maybe you don't have to die. Maybe we can be nice about this. But honestly, I don't really care what happens. As long as it crits. 209,000. Wow. It still did lower damage. All right. So that's basically our... Whoa. It, what, it did 80,000 less damage? Okay. Uh, so yeah. That's a pretty good indication that... Raiden should use like I, I at that point I don't even think it's like my resolve stacks making the attack percent up that's 80,000 damage I'm thinking that it doesn't even matter their resolve stacks or anything I think this is legitimately like the the damage bonus is just outright better which is what I've been told for C0 Raiden 2 which is why I'm making this video because I knew that comparing my c3 riding and my you know c0 riding it's basically the same i know that the electro damage goblet is better and i'm just here to spread the word and also show off my fancy new electro goblet i lied to you at the beginning of this video how do you feel but yes i honestly uh did not expect it to go down that much when we had more maybe it was because the crit damage for kujasara but i have gotten oh it was probably because of the uh damage bonus from Kazuha. That's why it was so little difference. That's why. It wow. Kazuha. Yeah, that that's a that's a Kazuha is just too good, guys. Like when he gets his rerun in like 3.8, summon for him. I like I just there's no world where Kazuha is not like one of the best characters in the game. I, I, if power creep actually happens to this game and we find out that Kazuha is no longer one of the best units in the game, I worry for the game. So uh, I don't know whether that's, you know, Raiden or we should be saying Kazuha did that. Uh, <laughs> but hey, Kazuha giving the massive amount of elemental damage bonus and electro damage bonus still was better. So yeah. That's put put that to rest. All right, guys. <laughs> so we have finally answered the question, the great old question that the electro damage goblet is better than the attack percent goblet and the EM goblet is forbidden. Make sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.